Welcome to the Pharma Voice Webcast Network. In this episode, I meet with Kun San Kim, SVP Strategy, Precision Effect. We talk about how advertising agencies can be more than just campaign factories for their clients. Stay tuned for some practical advice on how the right agency can deliver more value to their clients when they take a more innovative approach to changing behaviors. I'm Dan Limbach, your host and producer of the Pharma Voice Webcast Network. Welcome to the podcast program, Kunsan. Well, thanks for having me, Dan. You've written about the field of advertising and have referred to agencies as campaign factories. Can you tell me a bit more about what that means? Well, absolutely. And let me start by actually saying that I have lived the advertising life for the last 15 years or so. So I can assure you that within this industry, you're going to find some of the smartest, most strategic and creative people in the world. I want to make sure this isn't misinterpreted, but when I use the term campaign factory, it's in reference to the fact that for many in this industry, and definitely for many outside of the industry, whether it's clients or the general public, the advertising agency is seen only as a vendor that develops creative campaigns. If you need an arresting visual or a catchy headline, that's what agencies are for. Now, you may have seen the TV show Mad Men, or perhaps you remember the movie What Women Want with Mel Gibson. That's the movie where he's able to hear the voices of all these women around him. How wonderful would that be, right? But every plot crescendos at the creative concept presentation. That's the moment of truth where the strategy comes together and everything somehow starts to make sense. And the truth is that while it's never as simple as it's portrayed in the movies, and definitely not the one-man show, obviously, that uh, it always is made out to be, traditionally the portrayals are not too far off the mark in terms of how much emphasis is put on the creative campaign. Many advertising agencies today even are set up to start broadly with research, look for insights, come to a strategic point of view, and it really, again, crescendos at that creative concept. And so from there, you see tactics come out and, and really help the campaign come to life. But at the center of all of this is a focus on the creative concept or campaign. And unfortunately, I think in today's world, it's actually very limiting, both to the agency, but also for their clients. Well, that's fair enough. So what's the issue with agencies focusing on creating an advertising campaign? Isn't that what they're being paid to do? Yes and no. The creative campaign is still a huge deliverable for clients. And you're right, it does sound obvious and, and perfectly normal, in fact, to say advertising agencies are meant to create advertising campaigns. But my contention is simply that the world has changed. Business has changed. Our clients' needs have changed. You know, we live in a world now where analytics is part of our common vocabulary. And every marketing head I have met always tells me that they're being asked to do more with less. And what that means is that if you're in marketing, you need to be able to show at the end of the year how your efforts have been making a measurable difference to the bottom line. And while a good advertising campaign absolutely can and should impact the bottom line, Focusing all of the energy that you have on developing one campaign that's going to change all the behaviors needed to make a fundamental difference to the bottom line is not the most effective way to approach things. Okay, that makes sense. So let's go deeper. Can you give me an example of how focusing too singularly on an advertising campaign can be limiting? Sure. Uh, now, without getting too much into the details, I'll give you an example that should sound somewhat familiar to many of your listeners. It's an example of how difficult it is to create sustainable business growth for a company or a brand with just a great campaign. Now, I personally work in the healthcare sector. And so when you look in this particular field, it's a very complex business. And we had a brand. And what we were able to do for them was develop an amazing direct-to-consumer advertising campaign. It did absolutely everything that we asked it to. It garnered attention. It made clear the benefits of the product. And most importantly, it, it moved product. And at an amazing rate, in fact. But even with this glorious creative campaign that we were able to create, there were still a number of areas left that had to be overcome, whether it was winning over HCPs, winning over payers, changing the guidelines. The list actually goes on and on and on about the fact that even though we were experiencing short-term growth, it wasn't sustainable. And so the answer to all of this could not be just to create more campaigns. 
And it was absolutely unfair and not feasible for the DTC campaign to be expected to connect to all of the various tactics and programs that we needed in the market. And so what we ended up with was a, a d disconnect between strategy and the campaign. And what we find is that that happens quite often in the world that we work in. And so the whole point is, is that advertising campaigns are absolutely important, they're necessary, but if you're focused only on that advertising campaign, you start to limit how much strategic value you can offer your clients. Well, I get the impression that you're about to hit us with some next-gen advertising thinking. So what should agencies be focused on? Well, I don't know if I would call it next-generation thinking, but, but absolutely I do think there's an evolution that needs to take place. And, and I think there needs to be a focus on the big picture. The companies that we serve in the advertising field, they are focused now on moving the bottom line. And so that's really where the agency's ultimate goal and ultimate focus needs to be. We have to move that focus away from just how can we create the best campaign for this brand and move it to how are we going to move the bottom line? And, and rather than hide behind this excuse that sales are determined by numerous factors that go well beyond marketing, which is absolutely true, uh, what we need to do is get in there and figure out what those factors are and see what we can do to affect them. Agencies need to evolve from being the vendor that can change one specific mindset with a creative campaign to the strategic partners that help create incremental change with not one, but a series of behaviors that result in positive movement toward the ultimate goal, which is business growth, right? That's why I have developed what we call the behavior change strat map for our agency. It's a proprietary process of working through a brand's business needs and helping affect behavior at multiple levels and multiple milestones. Like I said at the start, I work with some of the brightest, most creative problem solvers I've ever met. And so really, I just got tired of how restricted we were in our thinking when we were a creative campaign focused agency. Our clients definitely needed answers for questions that go way beyond a traditional advertising agency's sphere of influence. And so our behavior change strap map allows us to push our thinking to help solve those problems. Well, we can debate whether it's evolutionary or revolutionary thinking, but either way, I'd like to go a little deeper. Can you share a little bit of detail about this behavior change strat map? Absolutely. Uh, the, the simplest way to explain it is to say there are four main components of this model. And to make it easier to remember, I've attached four M's to the start of each stage because that's what we advertisers do, right? We, we try to make things easy <laughs> and creative. Uh, but they are map, measure, monitor, and motivate. So what we do, if we want to get into a little bit of detail, is we start by identifying the key stakeholders in the process. As an example, we may choose the brand sales team as one, we may choose a physician as another, and a patient might be another stakeholder that we choose. In this particular example, the sales team initiates strategies for us, a patient may influence the decision making, and then the physician may be the one that's actually making the decision about the prescription. So what we do is we actually map all of the behaviors we need each of these stakeholders to exhibit in order to help grow the business. And so what you end up with after you've done the, the due diligence is a series of behaviors or milestones, as I like to call it, that act as smaller bite-sized behavior change goals. From there, we apply metrics or we measure each of these milestones to see how close or how far we are from where we need to go. This helps us avoid the awkward meetings with your boss at the end of the year when you have to answer for all the marketing dollars that were spent. And all you have is the, the big sales number and say, you know, if it went up, we did, we did well. We, our marketing was great. If it went down, our marketing was probably not on point. It also helps you prioritize the milestones and put together a plan for how you're going to budget. And you get to really start to understand, well, are we failing or are we succeeding at a much more microscopic level as opposed to the, the big picture and saying, you know what, uh, we're either doing well because of sales or we're not doing well because of sales. Then, rather than jump right into the programs and tactics after that stage, we have a step that we call monitor. And in this particular step, it's designed to overlay all of the current tools and assets that you already have. And this, is, this helps us avoid needless duplication, as well as to identify gaps that we may have in the market today. And it's only after having a ton of strategic discussions with the client about all of these steps that we have just talked to you about that we then finally focus on the motivate stage. 
how are we going to dig in and get people to move at each of these milestones? What tactics, what programs, and also what creative campaigns are going to help us? And so here you see that creative campaigns absolutely have a purpose, but we're able to identify exactly what it's trying to do and not try to fill it with everything that the brand needs to, to undergo. Well, I think it's a pretty new and innovative way of thinking about advertising and building a framework in which to work with. Kunsan, I want to thank you for sharing your thought leadership and expertise with us today. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you, and uh, hopefully it helps uh, really get people that are listening to really think about what they can expect from an agency and people out there in the agency world thinking about what we can do for our clients. Absolutely. And that does it for this episode. For more information on this topic, visit www.precisioneffect.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, white papers, webinars, videos, case studies, and more at pharmavoice.com. Until next time, I'm Dan Limbach. This 2017 podcast is copyrighted by PharmaLinks LLC. It may be freely distributed in its complete and unedited form.